Top four hard baits for the Florida Panhandle. Hey, what's happening everybody? I'd like to talk to y'all about Teresa and I's top four favorite baits we use in the Pensacola area, Florida Panhandle kind of, kind of waters. So these are the top four baits that we go to lures for this region. Let's go with this by water column. So the first, you got top, mid, and bottom. So let's go ahead and start with the top. All right, obviously top water, daybreak, first hour light, last hour light, and sometimes longer. So my new favorite is this guy here. This is the KVD Sexy Dog by Strike King. I make a few modifications to it. It's a freshwater bass, uh, top water walk the dog plug. I take the center hook off, number one. It's a little too much for salt water. The fish are too aggressive and thrashy around here to have three trebles for me. So I, I take that off to avoid some problems with them thrashing around in the boat. Another thing I do to it a lot is I take a couple of them and I put single hooks on them for grassy days. Another thing I do to them is I add a split ring. This way I don't have to tie a loop knot. I can quickly tie just a regular clinch knot and that metal on metal gets a super pivot point right another thing i do to this bait to modify it for me is the all i like all the natural colors that they come in for the flats here but what i do is i take pink fingernail polish and i paint a pink stripe on the back now that's for me so i can spot the bait at a distance if it's all natural colored um, i can't see it working but with this pink stripe on the back no matter uh, where it is I can I can keep a beat on it and see if it's walking right and stuff like that So it makes it highly visible for me, but that's way above the water level. They're seeing what's on the sides and the bottom That's kind of my favorite now a lot of people of course use any type of spook junior This is industry standard and once again if it's a hard bait and it's worth throwing I'm putting split rings on it because it's so much faster for me To be able to tie a clinch knot than it is to tie that loop knot that I use when there is no pivot point all right, so that's the top. So throw your favorite top water lure around here, first hour light and last hour. All right, so would say a bait for the mid water column around here that everybody absolutely loves, that Teresa and I love. I can tell you right away in the Pensacola area, you will see 90% of us and our friends throwing a little guy called Bing, <laughs> a Miradine. Now this Miradine in this size, this which is like two and, two and a quarter inch. This guy produces just a lot of fish. The trout go nuts over it. We've caught bull reds on it. It's just a real universal size. You're gonna jump lots of lady fish. You caught your foot on it, haven't you? Yeah, this is the one that shot into my foot. You're gonna Thank catch you. lots of blue fish in Spanish. Uh, hopefully they don't cut you off. These little guys aren't cheap. This guy is the most, you, know, you go fishing with a lot of people around here that are looking, that are searching for fish. This is a great search tool. It's just kind of meat and potatoes. You're gonna see it in everybody's tackle box. Miradine. The XL, if you wanna get more range and you feel like there's bigger stuff out there, you feel like there's bull reds on the flat, you feel like there's some tarpon on the flat, then we jump up to the XL to get more range and to get some stouter hooks and to just to get a bigger profile. And I have hung a bull red on this before. Can you put them side by side? So, we can so see you can the see difference? the size difference? Yeah. So Miradine for meat and potatoes here, the two, two incher, and then this bigger guy, when there's big jacks cruising, I grab this. Oh, when yeah. I think there's tarpon, I grab this. The guys in South Florida probably throw these for snook, but I know I've thrown these in South Florida like crazy for snook and stuff I too. I had a snook steel one, so. Little area. Or wake baits. Nobody was really using them, and I busted them out, and they ended up working well. And uh, people are starting to use them now. You're starting to see them more and more in the Florida Panhandle. Especially in the spring and the fall. They did amazing in the spring. Yeah. So the man's tide water is number one, class A. The reason this one is so incredible is that you can see how much I use them. This guy will run right on the surface and he'll also crank down about two feet, one to two feet, which makes him deadly. So if they're not hitting on top, I can crank this guy in the mid water column of a flat, which a two or three foot deep flat, and big stuff just, this is a big fish color right here. These things pull out the big guys. I don't know why, but they do. And there's something special about the tide water and its rattle that just outdoes everything else. This is your Bass Pro Shop wake bait. 
It's got a different pitch rattle, but this oh, yeah, this, this is Class A. So now I do have some luck on this guy, and I did in the Louisiana Marsh. <clears throat> if you don't know how to walk the dog with top water, these Bass Pro Shop guys they have the same big profile. They have a bigger lip, which causes this thing to stay on absolute top. This thing does not dive at all. Maybe you can get it down two inches if you lower your rod tip. Maybe. This sucker stays on top and wakes. So if you want to walk the dog in the morning on the surface and you don't know how to walk the dog or don't feel like walking constantly, this Bass Pro Shop guy right here, or one like it, will do the trick. So wake baits kind of kind of cover the surface and down a bit, especially the man's. That's inshore? This is all, a lot of these, these are all inshore. inshore and offshore. Well, we use mm. mirror lure. I use mirror lures offshore as well. You do? Spanish. Absolutely. And I use the smaller ones for uh I am not Tuning. willing to throw Miradines offshore. Can so I'd board? appreciate it if you'd stop throwing that space <laughs> <Yeah>. offshore. <laughs> He'd appreciate it. But... This is a Miradine uh, with sea eyes on it. This is the sea eyes. It, I think it floats a lot slower down. I put some singles on it because uh, for grassy days. This guy, I actually prefer it. The sea eyes Miradine. It's a real slow sink, and I've done a lot of damage with that dude. Okay, number four. This guy, this guy is a kind of a category to itself. We call these the Cappy Minnow. Okay, now I do use this off the beach and offshore and inshore. This guy is kind of a game changer. My buddy Nathan Mentir is making these right now. I'll drop his uh, email in the description below. In the description below, below Nathan Mentir on Facebook. So this Cappy Minnow, this is a three quarter ounce hard bait. This sucker sinks like a rock, but casts a mile. Now, on these guys, I always put one out VMC inline hooks single hooks this attracts a bigger bite and i'm able to get a big deep hook set with that single hook and i can also throw them on the flats for grass if i move them fast so you use these inshore and offshore? i use them inshore and offshore i was walking the sound not the beach the sound and the fish were not in close we weren't catching anything i put this thing on and threw mega far Got closer to the intercoastal in about four feet of water, and I started hanging fish. But of course, I'm a high rod tip, and I'm ripping it because the shallow grass flats, and this thing is three quarters of an ounce and sinking quick. This Cappy Minnow at three quarters of an ounce also, we use this off the beach, walking the beach. We can chunk this a country mile into the surf, and the bigger Spanish and the Kings. We actually have a video where a King Mackerel picked this thing up off out of the kayak, mm -hmm. but uh, we were throwing it to some bait. This has been an incredible bait for us. So you that's have a smaller yeah, and, they, and uh, they make them smaller. This is a half ounce, I think, with just a single treble on the back. I think Nathan makes these as well. He has a lot of these right now, cool. but it's just a heavy sinking hard bait. So there's one, two, three, four, four categories of hard baits that Teresa and I use around the Florida Panhandle area, and we will take them elsewhere because we're just uh, so addicted to using them and. A lot of it's just if you get used to something and you know how you to know work how it, work you it, yeah. you can get a response if you know how to make it how to make it look alive. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to come hang out with us on Patreon where we're posting all day every day, baby. What?